This time, I'm going to show you how I make this handy docking station for all your man accessories. Okay, so to start this project with, basically all you need is a piece of wooden plank. I've got a piece of pine plank here. Um, this is about, what's, what's the distance? This is about, uh, about 30 centimeters by probably about 60, depending on the size of the item that you want to make. Um, what I then did is I divided two equal more or less parts on the piece of plank like that and I then start to more or less draw what I am, have got in mind for this. Now this um, would be the upright part of the stand and this would be the horizontal part or the foot piece almost if you want to call it that. Um, and what I do then in order for these two to go together is I cut a groove into each of them. Now the the point of these grooves would be that if it's two pieces of plank like that, the grooves would then basically slide into each other at the bottom and it would make it stand upright. Um, so I, you can basically then draw out, that's a basic design just to make it stand upright. Now the rest is up to you, how you want to design it and what you want this thing um, to do, which we'll get to in a moment. But what I did was then drew my or draw my design here. This is once again, like I said, to the bottom part, this is the upright part. Those are the two grooves I'm going to cut out. I'm also going to cut a big hole over here, a circle right all the way through. And that would be for the cable, for the charging cable for my cell phone. And then this part over here will also be cut out completely. Uh, the part at the bottom here will be cut out completely. And then this big rectangle here will not be cut out completely, but I will be only basically uh, deepening it, I'll, I'll only hollow it out using one of these router bits in the router and that will only be about half the thickness of the piece of wood and then this little groove over here is also not going to be through, that's only going to be like a little groove into the wood which I'm going to make with this router bit also or just about a half a centre or about five millimetres deep so this then needs to be cut into pieces and the, the center parts needs to be cut out and grooved and then afterwards I'm only going to like round over the edges and so on just to make it look a bit better and then by the magic of film if you want to see what it looks like I've got the finished product right over here and this is what it looks like let's take the bottom one away you can see it a bit clearer and this is more or less what the two pieces looks like and the upright piece, you'll see it's only the two grooves. I did make or drill two little holes in the front side here as well. Now the idea with those is to use little pieces of dial pins or dial sticks to put in there as well. And we'll get to the purpose or the, of those as well when we put this whole thing together. Um, and then there's one at the bottom as well. Obviously there'll be two as well as on the side over here. I also made one. There's a pin going in from the side as well. And then... The bottom part, which looks like this, you'll see I also cut out the groove, that big hole cut out, and then the groove in the front here that I only made to hold whatever you want to place in it. And this is also just slightly deepened so that whatever you put in there won't be rolling off. And then what everybody's been waiting for, the magic moment, is these two pieces will then simply, like this, be slid into each other, like that. And it will stand upright like that. Um, I'll give it a bit more of a clearer shot in the final product when we use it. But yeah, that's what it does. Uh, the two grooves is obviously the thickness of the wood so that they can fit into each other. And uh, it fits nice and snug, not too tight. You can disassemble it and assemble it again. Um, but yeah, that came out very nicely. Sanded it a bit, uh, rounded over the edges, some of the inside as well. Only not the pieces where they start into each other, those pieces I did not round over because they don't need to be um, round and so on. They fit nicely together when it's still a couple of sharp edges. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to stain the wood first beforehand um, to whichever color you that you want or prefer and then we'll put it together. Now another thing that I want to say is if you are putting this together and you perhaps want to um, on the face of it, um, engrave uh, some kind of a logo or a name or whatever. You can do that as well. You can personalize this thing very, very easily. Um, and that makes it a nice gift as well. If you want to give it to someone, a father or, or anyone really. 
Um, it can be a corporate gift, it can be a personal gift. Very, very handy. So let me now go and uh, stain these two pieces of wood and we'll come back and I will assemble it and stock it with everything that can go on onto it. Here you can see the color that I stained the pieces of wood that I'm going to use for the stand. Now, you can obviously stain this any color that you want or any color that you want to paint as well. It doesn't need to be a stone, it can be a paint. Now for the magic moment, once again, these two pieces of wood simply slide into each other just like that very easily. And then we can now continue to put everything on it that it was designed for. Now firstly, I'm going to put these little dowel pins that I've spoken of before like this. I'm going to put them in the holes that I've drilled beforehand for the different spaces, one on the side and two in front like that. And then we're going to start stocking this thing. Now, one of the most important things or things that will most often be used would be the cell phone part. The cable I'm going to put through the hole in the bottom that I've drilled beforehand. I'm going to put in the cell phone, the dummy phone over there. That'll do the thing just perfectly. And then right next to it, there's a nice little space where I can hang my sunglasses or whatever I want. At the bottom, I can perhaps hang my set of earphones like that, which would be fine. I can then on the side perhaps hang my car keys very nicely together. Now also in front here, um, should you not want to put your earphones there, if you've got a ring, whether it be a wedding, a wedding ring or an engagement ring or fashion ring, whatever, you can put that there along with your earphones. Um, if you don't want to put your ring there, um, there's another option which I'll show you in a moment. So we'll just put the ring aside for now. Um, then at the front, I also made a groove where I can put my pen into. Um, and on the side, there's a nice little big groove where, that I made here, a big hole, which I can comfortably use for my wallet to keep it in place. Now, if you don't want to put your pen flat like this, I've also drilled a hole in the bottom here, which I can simply drop the pen into and it can stand upright. Now, once that is done, you'll have some extra space over here. And you can use that for something like, for instance, your ear pods or something that you want to keep on hand as well, along with your cell phone. Now, uh, let me show you the other space that I've been talking about. I'm just going to, oh, not yet. We'll put this wallet back for now. The space on top here, I almost forgot about that. If you've got like something like a bracelet of any sort, you can hang that there. Perhaps something like a bangle. And uh, what most people have is also their watch. You can hang that there, nicely displayed, easy to reach. And then I'm going to show you the leftover space, which is at the back, where I countersunk this little gap here. Now what's nice about the countersunk part with the ridge at the end is you can put some change in there and it won't slide off because of the ridge at the bottom. And back here, you can also put things like perhaps your ring, your cufflinks, anything like that. And what's nice about the back part is if you look at this from the front and this is facing the wall, the back side, this would be out of sight from the front. So it's a bit more hidden away. So you can put something a bit more valuable like your rings or cufflinks, your chains and stuff like that back there. Let's put the wallet back there. So this is a very, very nice display. Uh, like I've said beforehand, while I was um, cutting the wood and so on, here's the nice open spaces where you can uh, perhaps put company logos or engrave them or engrave personalized messages, whether it's uh, for a loved one, whether it's only someone's name. You can personalize, thing, personalize this thing very, very easily, and that would make it so much more appreciated by the person that you're going to give this to. So that is the thing. You can hang anything you wish, any place. You can redesign this according to your own preferences or your own needs. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's only so convenient and so easy to do. Now, if you do like this video and this product, be sure to like this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing that as well. Also, if you wish to support my channel, please have a look at the super thanks icon down below. So until next time, keep on DIYing guys.